Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and welcome to today's class. I'm, I must deeply apologize for the problem that we are having today with, um, with the Zoom. Um, but we are going to start straight away, inshallah, so we don't lose any more time. So if we could please have a student to the mic to do our opening dua and then we will get on and uh, start today's lesson. Okay, A5307. Assalamu alaikum, A5307. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm good. Alhamdulillah. I'm very sorry again about today's issues. So let's start straight away without any um, more hesitation with um, Dawood, Tasmiya and today's dua. So if you just follow me, please. And we're doing the second uh, second dua for today. Okay. So, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Beautiful. Well done. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. So without any further ado, we're going to move on to today's lesson. And today we, for the past few days, you have been looking at something called elongation normal elongation, madda. Okay, so you've been looking at um, alif madda, ya madda, wow madda, and how you have to elongate letters. There are certain rules which mean you have to elongate letters for two seconds. So for example, here in the second line, you can see in the first word, there is a noon with a, a fata on top, and there is a blank alif next to it that makes that an alif madda, which means you elongate that noon for two seconds. So you would say, na. Okay. So today we are doing something completely new. So it's a new rule today. It is called soft elongation. Okay. Soft elongation or al haruf al lean, letters of ease. Okay. So. I'm just going to read through this first section for you so that you understand what we're doing. We're going to go on, we're going to look at the examples and we're going to work through them very, very slowly together. Okay. Um, discipline in charge, could you increase um, the size of the screen slightly for us, please? Yes. Can you see better? better? Yes. Yes. A little bit more if possible. But that, that's, a, that's great. Brilliant. Jazakumullah. Okay. So. If you read through with me, it says lean means to ease or to soften. Oh, it's disappeared. That's it, it's back. Okay, lean means to ease or to soften. In the rules of recitation, if vowel and ya are strokeless, that means that if they have a schoon on top, okay, and are preceded by a consonant bearing the stroke of fatha, they are called al-haruf al-lin, okay? letters of ease, right? In the above chronic examples, we can see both type of these. So let me show you what I mean. If you look on the first line, we have here a vowel with a skun, it's a waw sakin, and the letter before it is an alif with a fatha. Okay, this is now a wow lean, and you will pronounce this ow, ow. Okay, let's move on to the next example. Again, in the next box along, you have a wow with a schoon, and the letter before it is a ha with a fata. Okay, so you would pronounce this how, how, and we move on to the last example. This is again a vowel with a school. This is a vowel lean because the letter before it carries a fata. Yao, yao. So you can see that the pronunciation is the same. You have the same sound phonetically. You can hear the same sound. When a letter carries a fata and it's followed by a vowel with a schoon on top. 
okay? That is called a wow lean, right? Now, let's go on to ya lean, just to explain how you pronounce this. There is, in the first example, there is a ha, okay? With a, carrying the stroke of fata, next to a ya, with a skun. You will pronounce this in the first box, hey, hey. Okay, we're going on to the next box. We have here, lam with a fata, followed by a ya with a skun, ya sakin, which is now a ya lean. And you pronounce that, lay, lay. Now, in the last box, we have a meme with a, meme with a fata, and again, ya with a skun, and you pronounce that, may, may, okay? So those are the sounds that you will make, but we're going to break this down a little bit more. So we're just going to focus for a few minutes just on the first one. So if we move up the page a little bit, and we will focus on yeah, sorry the discipline in charge today is controlling the screen so we just need to move up the page slightly this one yes so if we move down to the to the next explanation oh. so recognition of vaulin okay so it says, when a wow sakin is preceded by a consonant bearing the stroke of fata, it is called a wow lean and is shown in the above examples. Okay, and we just looked over that. So for example, in the box here that we have, we have a ya, which is followed by a wow with a skun, wow sakin, and the ya has a fata, so that would be yao. Okay, and the whole word here, let me just recite it for you. Yaumidini Yaumidini Okay, let's move on to the next box. Okay. And again, it is highlighted. So the letter carrying the fata is highlighted in red and the vowel lean, the vowel lean is highlighted in blue and that has a schoon on top. Okay, so let's read through this. Everybody read at home as well, please. Wal yaumil maudi. Wal yaumil maudi. Okay, and if you notice, there are some haruful mother there as well. So here, for example, there's a wow mother, and I had to elongate that for two seconds, the ayn and the wow. The ayn with the dhamma and the wow with the skun, that makes a wow mother. I had to elongate that for two seconds. Okay? So you need to now start recognizing and looking at letters, what's coming before, what's coming after, and that will tell you how you need to pronounce certain letters. Okay? So we're going to move on to exercise 16.1. Yes, Jazakumullah. And if we have our first student, please. Okay. N6331. Assalamu alaikum, N6331. Assalamu alaikum. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. What we are going to do is we are going to work through these first two lines. Okay, so I'm going to recite and you are going to follow me. Okay? Um, yes. Yes, you understand everything? So we're yes. just going to work through this. It's quite straightforward. And um, everybody at home, please make sure you are following along because this is a new rule. This is something new we haven't done before. So please, reciting out loud, everyone, so that we, you're all practicing this together. Okay, so let's start with Dawood and Tasnia, and then we carry on. A'uzu billahi min shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim Excellent so this is alif alif so is a alif with a fata a a is a alif with a vertical fata 2 seconds a a 
beautiful. Hamza with an alif madha. We know it's an alif madha because the hamza has a fatha on top. Okay, so again, two seconds. Uh, uh, um, teacher. G. Can I do the others by myself? Um, just let me go through it once for everybody because there's lots of people in the class and then hopefully we'll get a chance to do it by yourself as well. Okay, because we did start the class a little bit late today. So I need to make sure that we really, really get on with everything quite quickly. Okay, but once we've done it once with me, then you can do it by yourself. Okay, yeah. so this is... Uh, uh. Good. Next one, we have a Hamza with a vertical fatha. So again, two second elongation. Uh, uh. Mean with a fatha, ma. Next one. Ma. Ma. Good. And a meme with a fatha with a blank alif next to it, which makes it an alif mother. Two seconds. Ma. Ma. Beautiful. Excellent. Now we're going to go on to the next line. And this is where, where we have our wow lean. Okay. So first one is a. A. And then we have ao. Ao. Good. Next one is ba. Ba. Bow. Bow. Beautiful. Next one is ta. Ta. Tao. Tao. Next one is tha. Tha. Okay. So you, you can see the difference between when you just have a, blank, a normal ta with a fata and then a ta with a waulin attached and the sound that you have to make. So do you want to have a go at doing this line now by yourself? Yes. Okay, off you go from the beginning then. Uh, Good. Next one. Oh. Good. Well done. Next one. Ba. Good. Bo. Bow. Bow. Next one. Da. Good. Do. And the last one. Sa. Beautiful. Well done. Excellent. Thank you so much, N6331. That was lovely recitation. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Allah Hafiz. Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Excellent. Good. Good. So I hope everybody at home is following. Okay. So we're now going to go on to exercise 16.2 because at the moment we're just looking at Waulin. We'll cover Yalin in a moment. Okay. So exercise 16.2. Again, everybody following at home. If we can have a student, please, we can go through the first line. Yes, A5326. A5326. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine, alhamdulillah. Excellent. Good. So you're understanding the lesson okay? Yes. Excellent. So we're going to start with Dawood and Tasmiya, and we're going to go straight on, and we're going to read through this first line, and you're just going to follow me. Okay? A'udhu billahi na shaitani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Excellent. Good. A'udhu billahi na shaitani rajim. Yoma. Yoma. Beautiful. Next one. Low. Low. Next one. How lahu. How lahu. Beautiful. That was lovely elongation at the end there as well. Good. Well done. Next one. La sofa. La sofa. Beautiful. And the last one, al mautu. al -mautu. Lovely. Well done. Excellent. So, should we have another go? Let's go through the whole line again from the beginning. So, first one, yoma. Yoma. Next one, lo. Lo. Next one. Haulahu. 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 Next one. La sofa. La sofa. And the last one on that line. Al mautu. Al mautu. Beautiful. Well done. Three, two, six. That was lovely. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Ah.
Excellent. If we could have our next student, please. Yes, N6358. N6358. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm okay. How are you? Um, alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Are you understanding the lesson okay? Yes. Excellent. Brilliant. So, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go through the line and you just need to follow me. Okay? okay. So, we start with Dawood and Tasmiya. Good. Good, well done. Beautiful, well done. And once more. Good, well done. Let's start again from the beginning. Let's do the whole line again. Okay. Good. Remember, this is one of our thick letters. Remember that we're not highlighting them in red anymore. Yeah. Remember, we have to make our mouth a little bit round and serious for this ta. So we should hear a difference between ta and ta. Okay, so in the previous example, we had ta at the beginning. And in this example, we have ta. So we just need to make that differentiation in the sound that we make in our mouth. Okay, so once more. Ta, ro. Ta, ro. Beautiful, very nice. And the last one on that line. Aula. Aula. Beautiful, lovely recitation N6358. That was very nicely done. And is, um, it, um, is there meant to be like a big, a big square at the end of the screen? Mm, can you see a big square at the end of the screen? Yeah. Can you see the lesson for today? Um, yeah, I can, but I don't know if there's words after it. No, that was the last word on the page, um, the one that we just read. But no, I can see, I can see what you're saying. There, is, there yeah. is a square there, but that is the last word, so you haven't missed any. Okay. Okay, Jazakumullah, thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, excellent. If we can have our next student, please. Yes, A5323. A5323. G discipline in charge, there is, um, there is a... Uh, a sort of square at the end of the screen it's not covering up any of the words so we're, I think we should be okay but we'll just need to keep an eye on that just in case okay, okay brilliant okay so if we can have um, A5323 Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum Wa Aslam. how are you? Good Excellent good so are you understanding the lesson okay? Yes Brilliant, excellent. So we're just going to do Ta'ul, Tasmi, and we're going to do this last line of the Wauli. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. So, A'udhu Billah. A'udhu Billah min ash-shaytwa nar-rajim bismillah Good, well done. So we're going to start here, um, which is the last line, which where it starts with Ta, and it says, Ta sauna. Ta sauna. Okay, so there's a ta and there's a noon with a skoon on top. So it's ta sauna. Ta sauna. Ta. It's like a noon. Remember when we said about the noon guna sound where you can hear like panka? So that's the sound you have to make right at the beginning there. Okay? Ta. Okay, good. Keep trying. Excellent. Let's go on to the next one. 
Good. And remember that ain comes from the middle of your throat. So we really have to hear that sound there. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Yauman. Yauman. Good. Once more. Yauman. Yauman. Good. Well done. Let's go on to the next one. Yuskona. Yuskona. Good. Once more. Yuskona. Yuskona. Okay, so the ya has a dhamma on the top. So yes, the first two letters is yus. Yus. Good. Yus ona. Yus ona. Okay, Let's, so keep practicing that one as well. And then last one on this line is fauqahum. 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 Okay, good, excellent effort. Remember this off here in this last one is again one of our thick letters, okay? So that's one of our serious letters. So when we say that, we have to make a round mouth and we say oh. 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 Good, well done, much better. Make your mouth round. Oh. Oh. Well done, now do it once more. Good, much, much better. Excellent. So you just need to keep practicing that. Okay, so keep practicing that line. Make sure that you can say all the words really, really clearly and just keep looking at the different harakat. That means the different strokes. Is it a dhamma? Is it a kasra? Is it a vertical fatta? And just keep focusing on those letters and those strokes and inshallah, you'll, you keep improving. Okay, Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz, teacher. Allah Hafiz. Okay, brilliant. So we've gone over the vowel lean. We're now going to go back to the top and we're going to just have a look at how we recognize our ya lean. So we're going to go back to the top, um, to the, um, just to the explanation before that. So the page before. Yes, so recognition of ya lean. Okay, so here it says. Um, and there's a little bit of the writing which is coming off from the side of the screen, but don't worry too much about that. We'll try and deal with that, but I'll, I'm going to read it to you anyway. So you just need to listen for the moment. So it says, recognition of ya lean. When ya sakin is preceded with a consonant carrying the stroke of fatha, it is called ya lean, as shown in the examples. Okay, so you can see in the examples. So for example, that first example there, we have a ba, Okay, which has a fata, and then we have a ya with a skun, which is a ya lean because the ba has a fata on top. Okay, and this will make the sound bay, bay. Okay, and I'm going to read the whole word for you. Everybody repeat at home, please. Bay nakum, bay nakum. Okay, so we'll go on to the next example. Let's focus for the moment on the two highlighted letters in the middle of the word. We have a ta, which is carrying the stroke of fata. And then we have in the blue, the ya, which has a skun, which makes that a ya lean. And that tells us how we're going to pronounce this ta. And the way we will pronounce these two letters together is toi. Okay, I'm now going to read the word. Please repeat at home. Okay, we're going to go on to the last example now. So the lead, the red letter carrying the fatha, the stroke of fatha on top is a ya. Right? But the blue letter with the schoon is also a ya. Okay? 
The second letter, the blue letter, is your ya lean because the red letter is carrying a fatha. That's how you recognize it. Okay? And the way that we'll pronounce those two letters together is yay. Yay. Okay, so we're going to rec recite the whole word. Everybody follow at home. Husna yayni. Husna yayni. Brilliant. Excellent. Good. Good. We're going to move now on to our exercises. So we're going to go back on to exercise 16.1. And we're going to have our first student, please. And this time, we are going to read our first line and the last line. Okay, we're not going to read the, the Waolin example this time, just our first line and our last line so that we can practice our ya lean this time. Okay, so if we can have a student, please. Yes, N6328. N6328. Assalamu alaikum, N6328. How are you? Good. Brilliant, excellent. Are you understanding the lesson okay? Yes. Excellent. So you just need to follow me. We're going to go through these examples and then afterwards I'll give you a chance to recite a little bit by yourself on this one. Okay, so we're going to start right at the beginning where we have an alif. So just follow me there. Alif. Uh, alif. Uh, Good. Now we have an alif with a fatha on top. It's the next one. That is a. Uh, uh. Brilliant. And the next one is an alif with a vertical fatha. So we have Ah, uh, uh. beautiful. Two seconds. Excellent. Now, next one, we have, have a Hamza with a Fata and we have a blank Alif, which means that is an Alif mother. So we elongate for two seconds. Ah, uh, uh. beautiful. Well done. Next one again, we have a Hamza with a vertical Fata. Again, we elongate for two seconds. Ah, ah, beautiful. Well done. The next one we have a meme with a fata, so it is ma, ma, beautiful. And then the last example on that line is a meme with a fata, which is followed by a blank alif, which means that's an alif mother. So that would be pronounced, that would be elongated for two seconds. Ma. Ma. Beautiful, excellent. Now we're going to go on to the last line here. Okay, so you need to follow me and then you get a chance to recite by yourself. So right from the beginning, we have a. 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 Good. Ba. 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 Bye. Brilliant. Da. Da. Excellent. And the last one, fa. Fa. Beautiful. Do you want to have a go at that line by yourself? Yes. Off you go then. Um. From the beginning with the uh, just the, the last line. Just the last line. Uh, uh, Good. Next one. I... Beautiful. Next one. Ba. Good. Good. Ba. Lovely. Next one. Da. Good. Da. Good. And the last one. Sa. Brilliant. That's beautiful recitation, N6328. That was lovely. Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help. Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Okay, brilliant. So we're now going to go on to exercise 16.3, and we are going to practice this um, example of Ya Lin. Okay, so if we can have another student on the line, please. Um, hey, TJ, could you please make um, G1 in charge the co-host, please? Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, G1 in charge. Can you hear me? Waalaikumsalam. Yes, I'll just see if I can share my screen to make okay. it a little easier. Jazakumullah. Okay, is that any better? Oh, yes, that is much better. Exactly. Okay, so let's just move down to where we were at here. Okay. Yes, okay. that's great. Could you move a little bit, a little bit further up, please, so we can see exercise 16.3? 16.3 or 2? Yes, 3, 16.3. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much. That's brilliant. Excellent. Yes. So if we could have our next student on the line, please. Yes. A5303. A5303. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Are you understanding today's lesson okay? Yes, alhamdulillah I am. Brilliant. Excellent. So we're just going to start with Dawood, Tasmiya, and you're just going to follow me and we're going to recite these words, okay? Okay. Okay. A'udhu billahi. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Haythu. Haythu. Laylatu. Laylatu. Fakayfa. فكيف شهرين شهرين رأيت 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 good make sure this sounds like an alif okay good that was really nice we're going to go through that line once more from the beginning okay هيثو Haythu Laylatu Laylatu Fakayfa Fakayfa Okay, this is a soft calf. Okay, soft calf, thin letter. Okay, Kayfa Fakayfa Beautiful, much better, excellent. Shahraini Shahraini Ra'ayta Ra'ayta Beautiful recitation, A5303. That was lovely. Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help. Okay, khadafiz. Allah hafiz. alaikum. Good. If we could have our next student, please. Yes, um, N6359. N6359. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. how are you today? Good. Alhamdulillah, good. And are you understanding the lesson okay? Yeah. Excellent, good. So you just need to start with Dawood, Tasmiya, and then we'll follow me down the line, okay? A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Lovely, okay. Athena. Athena. Okay, this is Atta. Okay, so Athena. Athena. Beautiful, much better, excellent. So, Baitia. Baitia. Beautiful. Baina. Oh. Baina. Just a second. I'm going on with the highlighter. Okay, once more. Baina. Baina. Faina. Faina. Good. Waira. Waira. Beautiful. Well done. We're going to go through that line once more. Okay, starting at the beginning. Athena Athena Baitia Baitia 
بين بين فأين بين Okay, once more. Try once more with this one. بين Okay, this first letter, what's that? فا فا Excellent. So it would be فأين فأين Good, well done. And this last one? غير 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 Good, much better. Remember this raw? You have to make it a thick sound. Okay, so you have to make your mouth round when you're saying that last letter because the raw has a fata on the top. Okay, good effort. Well done. Just keep practicing those. Keep going through them. Keep practicing them. And inshallah, it will, you'll pick it up. And it was really good. That was a very nice recitation. Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help. Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Okay, if we could have our next student, please. Yes, A5341. A five three four one. Assalamu five three four one. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Um, are you understanding the lesson? Okay. Um, I'm just okay, yes. Brilliant. That's great. So you're going to just follow me. You're going to start with Dawood Tasmiya, and then you follow me down the line. Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Excellent, good. Now, remember, right at the beginning here, we have a wow madha, which means we need to elongate that first sound for two seconds. Okay. So be mindful now of all of your sounds because remember the only thing which is highlighted is the lesson we are covering that day. Okay, so we have to be careful of all the other rules as well. Okay, so you ready? Say, Moomin. 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 That's okay. It's okay. We'll break it down. Let's just do the letter which is highlighted in red and the letter which is highlighted in blue. Okay, because that's our lesson for today, which is our Ya Lin. And we will pronounce that Nay. Nay. Good. Nay. Nay. Okay, and we're going to go to the meme just before that. And we're going to say, Me nay. Me nay. And then the last letter, which is our noon, Me nay. Me nay. Beautiful. Very good. We're now going to start, put that first section in as well, that, those first two letters. And that's elongated for two seconds. So take a deep breath because there's quite a lot to say here in one breath. Okay? Beautiful. That was much, much better. Well done. Excellent. Okay? So next one. Beautiful. Very good. Now, next one. Again, we're going to break this down a little bit. Okay, so we've got our ra with our fata and we've got our ya lean because the letter before it carries a fata. Okay, so that would be ray. 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 Okay, now we've got our first letter which is off. Okay, so we're going to say those three letters together. Ray. Hooray. Beautiful. Now we've got a sheen here with a tanveen. And remember, we have to pronounce that for two seconds as well. So we're going to have our nunguna. So this, just this last letter by itself. Shin. Shin. Remember the nunguna sound that we speak about? That where the, the, the air has to come from your nose? Shin. Shin. Good. So we're going to try and put that together, okay? Because this is quite a difficult one. There's lots of long words in this line. Beautiful. Very good. Very, very nice. Okay. Again, we're going to break this down. We've got our adal with the fata on top, and we've got our yalin, which is in blue, okay? And that is they. Day. Good. They. Day. Good. Now we're going to go back to our first letter. 
That is a ba, and it has a kasra underneath. So b, b, b they, b they. Beautiful. Now we have a noon at the end. Again, we have tanvin, so that would be pronounced nin, nin, nin. Nen. Good, with our noon gunna, okay? So we're going to try and do the whole word, right? Be they nin. Be they nin. Beautiful, very, very nice, excellent. Okay, so this is a smaller word. We're still going to break it because we've still got a tanvin there at the end. So, ayn with the fata, yalin, pronounce it, ay. Ay. Beautiful sound. Well done. Now our last letter. Again, we've got a Nun. Nun. Good. Make sure you can feel the air in your nose, your nose pipe. Nun. Nun. Ay. Nun. Ay. Nun. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Well done. Um, A5341. Those are some difficult words. We're going to try and go through that, list, that, that line once more. Okay, we'll try to do it without breaking it down, but if we need to, then we will break it down. Okay, so let's start again at the beginning. Okay, nice deep breath because this is the long one, remember? Beautiful. Good, well done. Oration. Oration. Be they nin. Be they nin. I nin. Sorry. I nun. I nin. Nun. I nun. I nun. Very good. Excellent, A5341. That was brilliant. There were lots and lots of rules in that last line. I have a question. Yes, quickly. Um, the reason, um, is the reason why um, these classes are up on YouTube? Is it because, I, because it says recording up there? Yes, that's right. It's recording the class so that you can go back, you can listen to the lesson again and it will help you to revise and you can listen to anything you find difficult and you will have the teacher help, but you can listen to the teacher explaining how to do it. Yeah, and that's why it's got the recording sign at the top. Okay? Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help. That was brilliant. Well done. Good. Excellent. Jazakumullah, everybody today. I know we had a late start to the lesson, but alhamdulillah, we've got through the whole of today and we will be doing a recap on this, so don't worry. So I just want to go back up to the beginning, back up to the beginning of the lesson. Okay, so just to remind you how to recognize your wow lean and your ya lean. Okay, so the, the way that you recognize a wow lean is this. The wow will have a skun on the top and the letter before it will carry a fatha. Okay, that is how you know this is a wow lean and that is how you know how you are to pronounce the letter before. Okay, so in the first example, you have ow. Okay, ow. The ya lean, it's the same principle. That means it's the same thing. The ya has a skun, okay, ya sakin, ya has a skun, and the way that you know it is a ya lean is the letter before it carries a fatha. And that's how you know how to pronounce that. So that's hey, hey. So I'm just going to read the example underneath for you so you can hear how it sounds in a word, okay? Oh, hey, na. Oh, hey, na. And I elongated that last noon for two seconds because there is a blank alif there. The noon is carrying a fata, so that makes it an alif mother. You have to elongate that for two seconds. It's no longer highlighted in red for you, so you have to try and remember these rules now, okay? So next example, we have 
your ha with your wow. You know that the, the wow is a wow lean because the ha carries a fatta, and that is how, how. Okay, next one. The ya with school and the lam carries a fatta. That's how you know that is a ya lean because it, the lam carries the fatta. That's how you recognize it. Okay, lay, lay. Okay, we're going to say the whole word together. Everybody at home, please repeat as well. How lay ni? How lay ni? Okay. Last example, you have your wow with a spoon again. Your ya has your fata. That is how you know this is a wow lean. You'll pronounce this yao, yao. Okay, next one. Your ya has the spoon again. The meme carries the fata. This is therefore a ya lean, and you'll pronounce that may, may. And we're going to say the whole word. Everybody at home, repeat. Ya may ni. Ya may ni. Okay. So once you just need to now get into the habit of looking. What's coming before a letter? What's coming after a letter? And just putting it all together and making sure that you recognize everything that's going on in the word. And that will help you to know how to pronounce each letter. Okay? So we can, don't worry. You get a lot of practice of this, okay? And you'll be fine. So let me just go over quickly the homework. So the homework for today is to practice, please. Practice, please. Exercise 16.1, okay, which is page 72, first two lines, right? And then, so on the next page, first two lines like we did today, 16.1, first two lines. Yeah, and also exercise 16.2, which is the wow lean, okay? Exercise 16.2, which is just the wall lean. Okay, that's what you need to practice today. Okay? And then we're going to fin finally finish. So those both are on page 72. So we have to apologize again for the um, issue that we had with the um, internet and Zoom today. But alhamdulillah, we managed to get through the whole lesson. And that was with all of your help, because we had beautiful recitation today from all the students. And I'm sure everybody at home was reciting beautifully as well. We're going to end with our final dua, please. Okay. Um, okay, if we could have a student on the line. Yes, N6347. N6347. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. So we're going to start with Dawood and Tasnia and then we're going to read through the dua. Okay? A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Allahumma arhamni. Allahumma rahamni Bil Qur'an al-Azim Bil Qur'an al-Azim Bil Qur'an al-Azim Bil Qur'an al-Azim Waj'alhu li Waj'alhu li Imaman wa Imam wa nuran wa nuran wa hudan wa rahmah hudan wa rahmah Beautiful, well done. And if you could recite the English for me, please. Oh Allah, have mercy on my through the great Quran and make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance and the mercy. 
Jazakumullah to all the students, Jazakumullah to all the parents for your patience today. And inshallah, we will see you all again tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.